the atmospheric thinning statistics coming back from Mars only were much worse than the climate models had predicted. Aorus 4 was dying much faster than expected. Aorus 4, or Mars only as the Russians referred to it, was a small terraformed planet where originally Cyrusian fauna had evolved into uniquely Mars only reptiles and mammals. The lakes of South Mars only had even become the habitat of an oddly exotic aquatic mammal that had recently been qualified as a high potential pre ziv species. The Marzolian fauna and especially this pre ziv species needed to be preserved. Climate science was still in its infancy when Marzoli was terraformed. The planet turned out to be fundamentally too small to sustain a type B atmosphere. Generations of climate scientists had used every trick in the book to slow the thinning of the atmosphere, but now a critical threshold had been reached and thinning was accelerating. The planet was losing its atmosphere, there were no terra plants close enough for a new type B atmosphere injection, thus the only way to save most of the planet's rich fauna would be biomigration. Uriela and Inoatar had 40 standard days left until the climate engineer that was to be seconded to her station would arrive. Uriela had gathered the genetic material of the over 3,000 species unique to her quadrant of the forest planet. The whole southeastern subtropic was to be turned into Marzolian grasslands. Grasslands on ORUS 3, who could have ever imagined that? And after the biomigration, those grassland would house mammals. Mammals. The thought excited Uriella. A welcome thought after 14 standard years on the forest planet inhabited mostly by insects and slimy slugs. A lot had happened since the Lilith incident. The guild's master bioscientists had discovered the problem that had led to the Lilith uprising. There was a major and fundamental flaw in the Reli gene that allowed slight non fatal mutations to it to trigger a dynamic re imprint from Russians back to the original Marzolian Ant Queen reverence. The Lilith workers had re imprinted on their Queen Mother and had at one point perceived all the Russians as posing a threat to their Queen Goddess. Scientists were working hard on a fix for the Reli gene, but until one was found, Ant Monkey Queens were strictly prohibited. Each of the 40 queens on Skyun had been ordered to be incinerated by the Interstellar Senate. For Uriella, this meant that she could welcome Inoatar back without any worries. Last spring, Inoatar had run into one of the many signs she had left at each of the deep forest checkpoints. Consequently, he had returned to the science station where Uriella had welcomed him back. The preparations for the biomigration gave Inoatar a great opportunity to put his engineering skills to good use. Incubation and relocation capsules IRCs were normally built on Cyrus Prime, but Cyrus was a good six standard light years from Aorus. This meant Cyrusian capsules could not reach the planet in time. Uriella had to design and build IRCs from spare parts. Inoatar had picked up pretty quickly on Uriella's IRC design. The speed with which Inoatar was able to build new IRCs and his ability to come up with minor design modifications when he ran out of a specific part continuously amazed Uriella. A good thing too, as major climate engineering efforts were to start in 120 standard days so time was short. Raphael's accommodations were almost finished. Although the big problems Uriella had expected with respect to her use of the Geno virus were no longer to be feared, there were still critical issues when it came to how Raphael might react. It was clear from Inotar's behavior that his Reli gene was inactive. Raphael might report this, but with all queens dead it was very unlikely there would be any significant consequences to either her or Inotar. The real issue was that Uriella and Raphael would need to work together for quite a long time. If Raphael had issues with Inoatar's existence, how could they work together effectively? There was so much work to do in so little time. A planet was dying and without their intervention many many thousands of unique and valuable species. Uriella and Raphael had to work as a team from day one. Inoatar was Uriella's true friend and was indispensable as an IRC builder in these times of crisis. They would need to finish all the IRCs before Raphael arrived. Inoatar had to once again disappear into the woods. It pained her but once again there was too much at stake. 